Forest Biomass Retention and Harvesting Guidelines for Forest Management. The demand for renewable energy production is increasing and opening up new markets for forest biomass. These markets provide new revenue streams for landowners. They also allow foresters to apply better management techniques and improve the quality of standing crops by removing poor growing stock at critical points of stand development. And they provide new business opportunities for loggers ready to invest in new equipment and new business relationships. The entire forestry sector is poised to help our country reduce our dependence on foreign oil, lower the cost of domestic energy, and meet the challenges of global climate change. However, these opportunities will not be fully realized if the public does not have adequate assurance that the increased forest harvesting can be accomplished without damaging the ecological values of our forests. The Forest Guild's Regional Biomass Retention and Harvesting Guidelines were designed and developed to meet these challenges and provide these assurances. As use of our forests for renewable energy accelerates, public concern over the health and future of forests increases as well. Individuals and environmental organizations look for assurances that increased harvesting will not damage forest ecological values. They are aware that through public programs, their money is being used to build and operate energy production facilities that use biomass and provide incentives to landowners and producers to remove that material. They feel strongly that assurances of forest sustainability should be part and parcel of the public-private transaction. The forestry sector has dealt with these sorts of challenges before. In response to national clean water laws, the forestry community developed state-based best management practices that now exist in every state. These BMPs allow the sector to continue to operate efficiently and economically while providing enough assurance to the public and water quality regulators that this precious resource is maintained during forestry operations. However, the existing BMPs did not anticipate the expanding biomass market and the potential removal of lower value material. This gap is filled by biomass harvesting guidelines. Several states have moved forward to adjust state level BMPs to address specific biomass concerns. In some cases, these new guidelines do not offer specific ecological targets that provide enough assurance under public scrutiny. The guidelines offered here use the best available scientific information to set realistic ecological targets that can be measured in the field. They were developed by foresters and scientists to ensure that they could be practically and economically implemented under the current operating practices. They are flexible enough to be adopted to field conditions, yet specific enough to provide assurances to a concerned public. During the last century, as market conditions change and forests needed to meet increasing demands for goods and services, the public concern over forestry increased as well. The history of forestry demonstrates that if the forestry sector does not lead to address these concerns, then they are addressed by others who often are not as well versed in the operational practicalities or the economic necessities required to manage forests. Establishing, adopting, and communicating guidelines for the removal of biomass is the next leadership challenge in forestry. If the forestry sector can provide the public with adequate assurances of sustainability, then it can move forward to make valuable contributions to energy, climate, and other goals. We are now working to establish demonstration sites and introduce foresters, landowners, and loggers to the application of guidelines in the woods. Please review the guidelines for your region and see how they fit with the management of the forest land where you work.